So students, let us introduce ourselves to matrices. The knowledge of matrices is necessary in various branches of mathematics. Matrices are one of the most powerful tools in mathematics. The evolution of concept of matrices is the result of an attempt to obtain compact and simple methods of solving system of linear equations. Matrices are used in a wide array of fields extending far beyond mathematics including solving system of equations in business, physics and engineering. Linear programming where we may wish to optimize a linear expression subject to linear constraints. Strategies in games for winning business inventories involving stock control, cost, revenue and profit calculations. Markov chains for predicting long chain probabilities such as in weather. In network theory used to find routes for trucks and airlines to minimize distance traveled and therefore costs. Assignment problems to direct resource in the most cost effective way. Forestry and fisheries management where we need to select an appropriate sustainable harvesting policy. Computer graphics, flight simulation, MRI, fractals, genetics, cryptography and much more. What is a matrix? A matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions. The numbers or functions are called the elements or the entries of the matrix. A matrix is written inside the brackets. It is denoted by capital letters. Some examples of matrices are here. Matrices A, minus 2, 5, 0, root 5, 3, 6. Same way, matrices B, 2 plus i, 3, minus 1 upon 2, 3.5 minus 1, 2, root 3, 5, 5 upon 7. C matrix can be 1 plus x, x cube 3, cos x, sin x plus 2, tan x. Here, the horizontal lines of elements are set to constitute rows of the matrix and the vertical lines of elements are set to constitute columns. Thus, matrix A has 3 rows and 2 columns, B has 3 rows and 3 columns, while C has 2 rows and 3 columns. Now, what is an order of a matrix? A matrix having m rows and n columns is called a matrix of order m by n. So, order of matrix A is 3 by 2, order of matrix B is 3 by 3 and order of matrix C is 2 by 3. In general, an m by n matrix has the following rectangular array A11, A12, A13 and so on, A1j and A1n. In the second row, A21, A22, A23, A2j and A2n will be the elements and coming down to Ai1, Ai2, Ai3, Aij and Ain and in the last row Am1, Am2, Am3, Amj and last elements comes out to be Amn. This is a matrix of order m by n or A is equal to Aij of order m by n where i lies between 1 and m and j lies between 1 and n where i and j belong to natural numbers. In general, Aij is an element lying in the ith row and jth column. We can also call it as ijth element of A. The number of elements in an m by n matrix will be equal to m into n or mn. 
Now, look at an example on your screen in the matrix A is equal to 2, 5, 19, minus 7, 35, minus 2, 5 upon 2, 12, root 3, 1, minus 5, 17. Write the order of the matrix, second the number of the elements and third question is write the elements A13, A24 and A33. Now, look at the solution. Order of the matrix A is 3 by 4 as the matrix has 3 rows and 4 columns. For the second part, number of elements will be obviously 3 into 4 that is 12. Now, let us understand what is A13 that is the element belonging to first row and third column, first row and third column. So, element is 19. A24 that is element belonging to second row and fourth column that is element 12. Same way A33 is the element belonging to third row and third column it is minus 5. Let us take up one more interesting example. If a matrix has 18 elements, what are the possible orders it can have? To find all possible orders of a matrix with 18 elements, we will find all ordered pairs of natural numbers whose product is 18. Such ordered pairs are 1, 18, 2, 9, 3, 6, 6, 3, 9, 2, and 18, 1. Hence, possible orders are 1 by 18, 2 by 9, 3 by 6, 6 by 3, 9 by 2, and 18 by 1. Look at this example on your screen. Construct a 2 by 2 matrix A having elements Aij, whose elements are given by Aij is equal to i plus j whole square upon 2. For the first element A11, we have 1 plus 1 square upon 2 that is 4 upon 2, so A11 first element is 2. Same way A12 is 1 plus 2 whole square upon 2 that is equal to 9 upon 2. A21 is equal to 2 plus 1 whole square upon 2 that is again 9 upon 2 and A22 element belonging to second row and second column will be 2 plus 2 whole square upon 2 that is 16 upon 2 simplified as 8. So, matrix becomes 2, 9 upon 2, 9 upon 2, 8. Now, students, there is an assignment for you. Take down question number 1. If a matrix has 24 elements, what are the possible orders it can have? What if it has 13 elements? Question number 2. Construct a 3 by 4 matrix whose elements are given by Aij is equal to 2i minus j. So, students, let us look into the solutions of the assignment problems given to you in the previous session. To find all possible orders of a matrix with 24 elements, we will find all ordered pairs of natural numbers whose product is 24. Such ordered pairs are 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, 6, 6, 4, 8, 3, 12, 2 and 24, 1. Hence, all possible orders are 1 by 24, 2 into 24, 3 into 8, 4 into 6, 6 into 4, 8 into 3, 12 into 2 and 24 into 1. If a matrix has 13 elements, then the possible orders of the matrices are 1 by 13 and 13 by 1. In the second question, we were supposed to construct a 3 by 4 matrix having elements of the order a i j is equal to 2 i minus j. We calculate the elements as a 1 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus 1 as 1, a 1 2 that is element in the first row second column, 2 into 1 minus 2 that is 0, same way a 1 3 
is 2 into 1 minus 3 that gives us minus 1. Now, for the element in the first row and fourth column 2 into 1 minus 4 gives us minus 2. Coming to second row and first column element a 2 1 that is 2 into 2 minus 1 gives us 3 a 2 2 is 2 into 2 minus 2 that is 2 a 2 3 2 into 2 minus 3 is equal to 1 a 3 1 is 2 into 3 minus 1 that is 5 a 3 2 element in the third row second column 2 into 3 minus 2 is equal to 4 same way a 3 3 is 2 into 3 minus 3 is 3 and a 3 4 is 2 into 3 minus 4 is equal to 2. So, the matrix can be written in this manner 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 3 2 1 0 5 4 3 2 of the order 3 by 4. Today we studied about matrices and their wide applicability in the field of mathematics. We also saw that this is a major tool in mathematics. We can use it in solving linear equations, in network theory, linear programming and many other fields. We also studied about rows and columns of a matrix, order of a matrix. We shall continue in the next session with types of matrices.